Hello and welcome to Art Sundays. My name is Francesca and today we will explore some of the inspiring works in the Unearthed Photography Weeks exhibition and learn how to make a nature journal. Unearthed Photography Weeks exhibition explores the history of photography through nature. The exhibition explores over 100 works by 25 photographers. Jan van Heysen was a Dutch artist and painted flowers and fruit still lifes. His paintings were celebrated for their detail. It is thought that he used a single hair paintbrush for the insects, veins of the leaves and the hairs on the fruit. Fully aware of his skills, Heysen did not allow many people to enter his art studio for fear that his techniques would be learnt by others. Taking inspiration from Jan van Heysen, let's get up really close to nature and make a nature journal. For this workshop, you will need a ruler, pens and pencils, tape, glue, a pair of scissors, a hole punch, ribbon, string, book rings, paper clips and small envelopes, A5 card and A4 card, and a range of papers. Journals have long been companions for artists and thinkers, holding ideas, poetry, stories, sketches and memories. Today I am also taking inspiration from textile designer and poet William Morris. Earth the healer, earth the keeper. So swift the hours are moving, unto the time unproved. Farewell my love unloving, farewell my love beloved. What? Are we not glad-hearted? Is there no deed to do? Is not all fear departed and springtime blossomed anew? As we are entering springtime, exploring the outdoors is inspiring. Spring is nature's awakening. Talk about what you see and how you feel. Try to describe it in a sentence or words. Jot down the words and save them for later. Here's a tip for focusing on one area. A viewfinder is useful for selecting a scene. You will need a piece of card. Cut out two L shapes. Move the two L shapes around until you are happy. Using two paper clips, secure the L shapes in place. You can also take photos and you can print them out and include them in your journal, or use your photos to draw from. I am going to include drawings in my journal. I usually mark out the drawings and add the details in later. So let's get started. Cover your work area. Cut your sheet of A4 card in half to make two sheets of A5. Select one sheet of your patterned paper for the front cover. Carefully glue around the edges of the card and then glue in the centre. Glue facing downwards, place in the centre of the paper and gently apply some pressure on both sides. Now we're going to neaten the edges by folding them in. So just glue around the edges and then cut at the sides. And neatly fold them over.
Now do the same for the back cover. Once you've finished, we're going to decorate the inside of the covers just to give it a nice neat finish. So really, have fun with this part. There are no rules. You can choose whatever colour you want. You can make your own paper, use photocopies, wrapping paper. So I've, I'm using a bright piece of coloured paper for mine. Just glue it in place, nice and neatly. Just pay attention to the edges. Now we're going to do the same for the back, but first we are going to attach some ribbon to the back cover. So measure your ribbon from your hand, your wrist to your elbow and cut that and use that to measure the second piece of ribbon. Then attach it to the back of cover with some tape, one at the top and then one at the bottom. Once you've done that, then use a piece of paper to cover over the ribbons. And glue it in place. I'm just going to test out my ribbon just to see if it's the correct length and tie it up in a bow. You can always trim it down if it's a little bit too long. The ribbon is a really good touch because it really helps to keep everything neat together. Okay, now we can start decorating the front cover. So really use whatever materials that you have. I've got some stamps here, some craft paper. So really just have fun with it and just go with whatever you like. It really is your journal, so make it your own. For the label, I'm going to cut out a rectangle shape. I'm using a pair of zigzag scissors, but if you don't have a pair of those, you could always try out cutting out a different shape, like a star shape or an oval. I'm going to use these paper letter stamps. They're really great fun. We've got them on our materialist on the website for you to download if you'd like to use them too. So really think about what you'd like to call your journal. I'm calling mine my, my nature journal. You could put your name on it. It really is up to you. So I'm just going to finish off with a few decorations on on my label inspired by nature and then just glue it in place. Perfect. So next using a hole punch, carefully slot it in. Just be pay attention to make sure that you've got it on the right setting. You might need a help in hand of this bit and then make your hole in the front cover and the bank co back cover. Using the 
book rings, open them up and clip them in place. These are again quite fiddly so you might need a helping hand with these, they're quite hard to open and close. If you don't have book rings you can always use some treasury tags or string. I'm gluing two mini envelopes inside the inside covers. They're a great way to pop little bits in that you might collect along the way. If you don't have any mini envelopes, you can reuse an envelope that you received in the post or you can make your own envelope out of paper. I'm going to store some of the alphabet letters inside my envelope for later. Now for the inside pages. I am going to include the image by Yang Van Huysen, Vase of Flowers. When sticking your images onto the paper, just be careful to glue it more to the right hand side so that when you make the holes later on with the hole punch, you don't make a hole into the actual image. I'm using the letter stamps to label and title the image. I'm also including the first two verses of the William Morris poem to inspire me. I'm going to mount it onto my drawing I started outdoors, but first I will finish it by adding some detail and colour. Now is a good time to think about a starting point for your poem. Try to remember some of the words which inspired you. As we observe nature, we begin to notice what we see, hear, smell, and feel. Here are some words that I added to my list. Airy, fragrant, fresh, free, regrowth, bloom. Read through your list and add it to your journal. Having your work in one place will help you to reflect and build on your observations. It is easier to write about nature when you are surrounded by it. Next time you are out in the outdoors, take your journal with you and add your list of words. Now I'm going to stick the poem in place. Remember again to stick it more to the right side of the paper. Okay, next let's make a bookmark. So using any leftover paper, use the front cover to measure out the length of your bookmark and then using the ruler measure out three inches and at the top do the same and then join the lines together
cut it out. And remember, your journal is a space to be free and explore your ideas. Have a think about what makes you feel inspired and what you would like to include in your nature journal. Glue the paper and then neatly fold it in half. Using the hole punch, carefully make one hole at the top in the middle. Cut some string and then attach it onto the book mark. Tight in place and then attach it into the journal. Okay, it's time to add the pages. So carefully make the holes in the pages. And then add in more pages. I'm just using collected papers that I've found along the way. Some are photocopies, some are vintage sheets of paper. So really just use whatever you find, whatever you like. And remember that your pages are not fixed and you can change the order of the pages and add more. So let's clip the pages inside. Remember this is a little bit tricky. So you might need a help in hand with this part and then just pop your papers inside. Journals are a useful way to log your thoughts. It's interesting to look back at these pages later on in a year or so and see if and how your thoughts and ideas have changed and evolved. Well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed the workshop. Remember to share your nature journals at Dulwich Gallery, hashtag Art Sundays.